Hey everybody, it's Easy coming to you late night after a big war win versus uh, this mongoose clan. Uh, win number six straight for the good guys for Damage Inc. Um, one, we don't usually do a lot of uh, war recap videos, but this war was absolutely unbelievable the way it ended. Uh, we were down and we, we managed to get back even and as soon as we did they came at us with like seven six or seven attacks in a row and picked up all these stars and we saved a bunch of good attacks for the end and this is basically uh, this isn't exactly the end attacks but this is pretty close to it this first one right here is done by creeper uh, creeper specializes in all of the air attacks uh, he's one of the he's one of the few guys that can bring a dragaloon to a to a max town hall nine and somehow dance those dragons through the base and, and get three stars for us. But this one here is a, a, a Lalunian attack. And uh, he comes in the top to try to take out some air defenses. He manages to get one of the air defenses and takes out one whole pocket. And what he wants to do is he wants to come in. Uh, he's coming in from the, this top left. And he's just basically going to he's gonna bring the, the Lava Hounds in and, and just kind of go in counterclockwise with the uh, lava house and with the balloons to try to work its way all the way back up to town hall and leave town hall and the, and the queen for last uh, but he, he tried to take out the he tried to take out the clan castle troops and he got all the troops except for the baby dragon now anyone who knows what baby dragons can do to you he's got balloons in in the attack with the baby dragon and luckily the baby dragon locked onto the lava hound now he wanted the lava hound to, to pop and for the pups to take care of the of the baby dragon and it followed it followed that uh, lava hound for three air defenses until it finally popped and then the pups finally took out the the baby dragon. Now he he saved uh, a, he saved a haste spell and he saved about six uh, balloons for the back end and he had uh, I think a wizard tower archer tower and the queen to deal with. So he's got a lot of troops up still. Um, the, the queen manages to pick off a bunch of the balloons right there at the end But he just had too many troops left up He has all those pups and all the minions and fortunately they all got on the queen at the same time and took her down real quick So great attack. It was a clutch attack right there at the end of the war and uh, just another Another excellent showing for uh, the, these air these air attacks that creeper does just incredible. So great job creeps uh, this next attack is from one of our new guys, newer guys, Wreck-It Ralph. Um, he's going to use the flex in this attack right here. And uh, he actually does a really good job. He pulls out the clan castle troops here and he, he lays the poison down. Uh, the, for some reason though, the clan castle troops kind of plowed through the poison and almost got to the queen. He ends up having to pop the queen's ability, which... A lot of people they don't want to use the queen's ability and they'll they'll bring the queen almost all the way down and sometimes you'll lose your queen and when you're doing a, uh, an attack that has a that's heavy with a queen walk you, you use the ability if you have to it's 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 worth keeping her alive because the healers might keep her up the entire raid if you lose her right at the beginning your odds of three star just dwindle down to next to nothing so with the flex attack if you're not familiar with it it has a queen walk and a bowler walk each of them with three healers on their backs, and then, then in the core of the base, uh, you put in giants, wizards, and Valkyries, and uh, a couple rage and a couple heal spells. And the the way the attack is supposed to work is you want the you want the bowler walk and the queen walk to go around the outside of the base. You really don't want those troops to go inside the base. The bowlers can they can sh they can shoot over the walls. Um, they they can double tap a lot of these defenses and go two defenses back. Uh, it didn't happen in this particular case and they lost the queen. Uh, I'm sorry. They lost the healers But meanwhile the queen is going around the backside um, The the core got taken out almost all the way and and that's one thing that the flex does is There's not a lot of troops in the middle Because you have six healers you have six healers in this attack. So that's a lot of um, that, You know, that's a lot of camp space for six healers so You'll see a lot with the flex. You'll see a, lo a lot of times you'll see wow, I'm tongue tied man uh, A lot of times you'll see the queen walk and the bowler walk meet in the back side of the base To take out those last couple trash buildings and those last couple defenses. So good job wreck it Ralph Now this next one is by romper stomper romper is you can't have him. He is one of the best attackers in the game um, Excellent player smart 
he's just he, one of the co-leaders, one of the co-creators of the clan, and a friend. And it's a pleasure watching how well he's done. I, he's he has shadowed almost and everyone in the clan with his ability to come into these wars and and get a six pack. It, it's amazing. It's just I'm I'm actually I'm amazed at what he can do. Um, in this attack here, he comes in with the flex. Uh, it's actually him and flex started this attack almost at the same time. They've both been using it now for months, and they can do this attack backwards and forwards in the sleep. So he comes in with the queen walk up top. He's got a level 40 queen. He maxed out completely before he went to town hall 10. So now he's got now he's going into these attacks with with a level 40 queen. And you can see the difference between your level 28 and 29 queens in the queen walk and when you have a level 40. She is so sturdy and she punishes everything she shoots at. So he is the prime example of why you want to max out before you go to the next town hall level. If you watch uh, players that have maxed out and got to, town, to level 30 with their heroes before they went to town hall 10 compared to the guys that have gone to level 10 with like uh, level 15 or 16 heroes. That their success rate is so much different and if you were able to watch what what RS did in our clan you would You would really push for your guys to try to max out instead of trying to rush their way into Town Hall 10 A lot of different theories on it, but I've seen firsthand that if you go into 10 with maxed out heroes You will immediately make the transition other than taking two or three months to be able to start three star in those Town Hall 10s So another awesome attack from Romper this next attack is by Hawkeye. Hawkeye is going to use a Mass Bowler. Uh, now the Mass Bowler was very popular until the bowlers they got a, they got a small little nerf and on, on I think on the hit points and in, in, in the DPS they're still really strong, but they're a lot of people have backed off them and a, and a little bit of it is because like with all attacks. Uh, after a month or so players learn how to defend against it and a lot of people know how to defend against the bowler attacks They know how to build the bases to split them up and then they walk them right over four or five giant bombs at one time And you can't you can't keep them alive if that happens So either you have to tank in front of them or you have to somehow avoid those giant bombs now here He's a town hall 11 attacking a town hall 10 and this is a super close war We had to have three stars out of these attacks just to stay even with them and so he comes down and used the warden ability at a perfect time, kept all the bowlers alive through the core, and now he pushes the bowlers into the back side of the base. And even at this point right here, it's it, it's questionable, you know, if if he's gonna make it through. But um, he, he he postured himself really well for the for the end of this uh, attack right here. And um, as well as this town hall ten was built. It didn't have enough. It didn't have all the giant bombs together, so that's that's what really ends these attacks with the, with the bowlers. Um, you can see the the impact marks of all the giant bombs, and you can see all the space that there is in between them. A lot of them were in that bottom compartment, but they weren't together enough for the healers to heal them up a little bit before they hit the next one. So all the bowlers lived. He ends up three star on this this uh, base and gets it back to even, and just basically kept us in the war with that attack and then it came down to this attack at the end of the war this is the reason why we did the war recap uh, it came down to if Kenny can three star we can win the war um, if he can't then there's a good chance we weren't gonna win it he had just attacked he had he had two attacks for the end of the war and he had just attacked and he had used an air attack and things just didn't go well for him and uh, the warden did not stay with the troops the warden stayed away from most of the troops and stayed on the queen in the first attack and somehow the warden was set to air and somehow he went over and took town hall and got a clutch star for us to get us to keep us at even and then he came right back with it you know being brave he came right back with the same attack on number four and this is the base that i had attacked earlier and i thought i was for sure going to get at least two stars on it but my troops parted like the red, red sea took everything in the base but town hall and I got a high level one star and, and so Kenny has to attack it he has to get three stars it's another town hall 11 versus town hall 10 and and in, in this attack Kenny showed how how long he's been playing and how well he can he can use these air troops he pushed through this, the core of this base and he turned this town hall 10 into like an 8.5 <laughs> 
Uh, at this point right here, there's no doubt that he three-starred the base. I don't even think the last Lava Hound's going to pop. Um, one thing you'll notice when you have the Warden is if you can keep the Warden up with your troops and you can use his ability while all the troops are in the core, when all the Inferno Towers are, are, are starting to burn down, um, that, 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 that's the game changer. That's why Town Hall 11 is so much stronger than Town Hall 10. So, uh, hats off to the guys in this war. Uh, we ended up winning by two, I believe, because of the three star. So, uh, good job, guys. Uh, any of you still left, thanks for watching the whole video. Uh, if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, please sub to the channel, like the video. Uh, till next time, this has been easy.